In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to use Gaussian elimination to solve a system with infinite solutions. The question reads, use Gaussian elimination to solve the following system. Notice that our system contains three unknowns, x, y, and z, and we have three equations. The first thing that I'll do is rewrite the system as an augmented matrix. And what I mean by that is I'll take all the leading coefficients and write them out in rows. So for the first equation, I have 1, negative 2, negative 1, and 5. For the next equation, I have 2, negative 5, positive 3, and positive 6. And lastly, we have 1, negative 3, positive 4, and 1. Next, what I want to do is transform this matrix so that the main diagonal, this part, are exclusively 1s. And the numbers below this one are 0 and 0. The numbers below this one is 0. And then after that, we'll do some back substitution. So to get this 2 as a 0, what I can do is multiply the first row by 2 and then subtract by row 2. The answers I get, I'll replace with row 2. To document that, multiply row 1 by 2 and then subtract that from row 2. If we do that, multiplying this by 2 and subtracting by 2 gives us 0. And by the way, row 1 and row 3 remain unchanged, so what I'm writing here is row 2. Next, I'll multiply this by 2, which gives me negative 4. Negative 4 minus minus 5 is like saying negative 4 plus 5. That's positive 1. Next, we have negative 1 times 2, that's negative 2, minus 3, that's negative 5. 5 times 2 is 10, minus 6 is 4. I'll rewrite rows 1 and 3. Next, I need to make this 1 as a 0, and that's easy to do. I'll take row 1, minus row 3, and I'll replace row 3 with my answers. So 1 minus 1 is 0. This becomes a 0. Negative 2 minus negative 3. That's like saying negative 2 plus 3. That's positive 1 negative 1 minus 4, that's negative 5, and 5 minus 1 is positive 4. To write row 3 clearly, you should have something that looks like this. And finally, to make this into a 0, I can simply subtract row 2 from row 3. 1 minus 1 is 0, negative 5 minus negative 5, that's 0, and 4 minus 4 is also 0. So we've reduced our matrix down to 1 that's 2 by 4. Another way to look at this matrix is to rewrite it as an equation. So our first row is x minus 2y minus z is equal to 5. And for this row we have y minus 5z is equal to 4. The reason why this has an infinite number of solutions is because if you look at the third row which became all zeros. Another way to understand that is by saying 0x plus 0y plus 0z is equal to 0. And anything you put into x, y, or z will result into 0. Think about it. If your solution set is negative 10, 5, and 1, you'll end up with 0. Therefore, there are an infinite number of solutions. So to represent your answer, what we have to do is find an expression that represents the x, an expression that represents the solutions for y, and an expression for z. We can do that by focusing on this equation first, and then performing back substitution into here to represent another letter. For instance, here I can say that y is equal to 4 plus 5z. So I just found an expression for all my y solutions, 4 plus 5z. Now to find an expression for my x, I'll substitute this into where I have the y here. So I have x minus 2 times 4 plus 5z minus z is equal to 5. Expanding this part, I have x minus 8 minus 10z minus z is equal to 5. Solving for x, I get 5 plus 8, which is 13. Subtracting these two, I have 
minus 11, bringing that over, I get plus 11z. So I have 13 plus 11z, and for this expression, I can simply say that it's z. And there you have it. That is how to use Gaussian elimination to solve a system with infinite number of solutions.